let's have a look at Kramer's rule, which is a useful method for solving systems of equations such as the one shown here. a1x plus b1y equal to c1, a2x plus b2y equal to c2. So you'll see that these are two equations in two unknowns. How does Kramer's rule work? Well, the first unknown x is solved as delta 1 divided by delta and the second unknown y equals delta 2 divided by delta where delta 1 is the matrix determinant which has the constants in the first column so c1, c2 and the coefficients of our second unknown y in the second column namely b1, b2 delta 2 then has the coefficients of the first unknown x in the first column so a1, a2 and it has the constants c1, c2 in the second column and delta is the matrix determinant where we put in the coefficients of the unknowns x and y so the determinant a1, b1, a2, b2 so let's have a look at an example of applying this rule Let's suppose we want to use Kramer's rule to solve the equations 2x minus y equals 5, 3x plus 2y equals 4. And so once again, x is going to be equal to delta 1 divided by delta, and y will be delta 2 divided by delta. So let's work each of these out. So here, delta 1 is going to be the constants again C1 and C2 which is 5 and 4 go into the first column of that determinant and in the coefficients in the second column here in other words the coefficients of the second unknown y which are negative 1 and 2 go into the next column and working that out 2 by 2 matrix determinant is this diagonal 5 by 2 minus the product of the elements in the other diagonal which is 4 times negative 1 which works out to be 14 here. Delta 2 then, same idea, this time the coefficients of the first unknown, so coefficients of x, 2 and 3 go in the first column and the constants 5 and 4 go in the second column which gives us 2 times 4 minus 3 times 5 giving us a value here 8 minus 15 is negative 7 for delta 2 and then delta is just the coefficients of the unknowns so in this case 2, 3, negative 1, 2 and again we're working out this matrix determinant so that's going to be 2 times 2 minus 3 times negative 1 giving us two plus, sorry, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 so now x we saw is just equal to delta 1 divided by delta so in this case x is 14 divided by 7 giving us a value of 2 and y is delta 2 divided by delta which is negative 7 divided by 7 giving us an answer negative 1 so that is we have found that the solution to this system of equations is of the form x equals 2, y equals negative 1 and of course to check that answer is correct you could always substitute those values back into your equations to check that these values satisfy the equation.